it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewery Regal in Germany. And this is a bottle of the Kamerzenrat. Now this is the kind of flagship beer. Now, because it's called Wurzig and Mild, and because everything's in German, They've been brewing since 1386, which is incredible. But because everything's in German and there's no particular style, like I just reviewed uh, another German beer and it was a Heller's Lager. Um, what I had to do with this one is put it into untapped. I like to use this barcode scanner on un untapped. It's really easy, you just scan it in and you get, you get the write-up on the beer. And according to a lot of people on Untapped, this is a Heller's Lager. But it doesn't say. It doesn't say anywhere on the bottle. Or it might do, but it might be in, probably in German. So I don't understand. I don't understand German, so I have to go on to Untapped. It's a 330ml bottle. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. Just started to rain. Yet again in Wales. It's raining in Wales. It's quite unusual for a German brewery to put beers in 330 milliliter bottles. Uh, normally, with the German brewery, you get 500 milliliter glass bottles, brown bottles, of course. Um, yeah, it's quite unusual because I was looking at my glassware and I was looking at the big German mugs and I was thinking, this big German mug is going to swallow up that 330 milliliter beer. It's not going to look quite right. Even even this glass here, which is perfect for a Pilsner, Pilsner Heller's Lager style beer, is it, it looks. It doesn't look full, does it? I like a full glass of beer, me. You know, when you pour a beer out, and it's, they bring it to the table, and you're like, oh, where's the rest? <laughs> um, so beer in the glass, you've got a one finger white head, good levels of slow moving carbonation. It's a, it, it's not as light as some, German lagers. I've seen lighter German lagers. It looks like it's got a slightly darker malt bill in this one. And the carbonation is quite... I'm going to use the word subdued. It's not... It's not... I mean, it doesn't have to be, does it? But the carbonation is quite, quite quiet, isn't it? In the glass there. But it's clear, nice and clear, which is really good. So uh, I'd like to say a big thank you to our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk. Beers of Europe, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beers from all over the world. Uh, beers of Europe were kind enough to send this beer to us today. If you've been away working, if, you, if you've been on holiday, you found that fantastic beer that you were drinking whilst you were away. The best place to find it in the UK is beersofeurope.co.uk. There's a link in the description box of the video for you to have a look at. I'm going to get on with the review now. So uh, let's get the... I know I haven't talked about the head. So there's good head retention there. Let's get the aroma. Smells fantastic. It's really kind of atmospheric being out here in the rain. It's a combination of the malt and the hops. That kind of lemon hop and that kind of wafer like malt is combining to offer a an aroma of honey. 
It's got a real kind of strong honey aroma to it. It smells absolutely fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh. Wow. Now that tastes like it's got honey in. I very much doubt it. I very much doubt that it's got actual honey in because that means it wouldn't conform to the Roy Heischerbot, the German purity law. really nice it's a quiet review for me I'm not kind of like I'm not really overly talking I'm just spending a long time just contemplating the beard and enjoying the beer because it's really blooming good I'm just standing here like oh yeah this is really good it's got like that kind of slightly perfumed like dryness coming through to it a real nice wafer malty biscuity beginning and then it's really hot. It's, it's, there's a high hop content here. It's really well well hopped. Where I am wondering, I am standing here wondering to myself. I know. So Untapped is a community of people who put their views in what a beer is. They're generally right a lot a lot of the time. But this, on this occasion. This is tasting more like a Pilsner for me than a Helles Lager. It's got a real good, strong, bold bitterness to it. Yeah, it's a real biting bitterness coming through. A stinging nettle bitterness from those traditional German hops. Yeah, I'm going to say Pilsner. Plus the strength of it being 5.2% ABV. Definitely pushing towards Pilsner territory rather than Helles Lager. But it's nice to have a look anyway. It's nice to have a look sometimes at places like Untapped because you can look at it. It'll give you a kind of a very kind of vague, if you like, example of the beer style, Helles Lager. And then you can make your own mind up, can't you? But it's really good. Really, really good. Good luck, good aroma. Really does smell. The, the aroma on the beer. Now, what, what impresses me about the beer? Two things here. As I'm swirling the beer around in the glass, that head is kind of coming right back. It's really... redeveloping and kind of holding its own. It's a beautiful head to the beer. And it's got a fantastic aroma of honey, a big honey flavour coming through. Lovely. Smooth, delicate, drinkable, refreshing. You could drink four bottles of it. Four bottles of this really easy. Got all that rain's coming down now. Okay. I'm ready to rate this one, 5.2% ABV. Uh, funny enough, you never know because it's all in German. Funny enough, there's nowhere on this bottle that they're actually calling it beer. So if they're not calling it beer, then maybe it's not conforming to the Reihaischer bot. Maybe, maybe they've added honey to the beer, and then in which so they can't call it beer, they just got to call it something else. But I like that. I really like that. It's a stone the crows for me. And I know I've not jumped around in the bar as much as um, I'd like. 
Um, bit of a subdued review for me, but it doesn't take anything away from the beer. The beer is absolutely fantastic. It's a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give it a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.